it's all business up in here. And two, they see. What? Oh, shut shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta. <laughs> You're mean. Hey, Kern County, Megan Pearson, your Director of Countywide Communications with this week's Around the County. Really quickly, I just wanted to make sure that we shared with everyone why we actually do these. Part of it is that we want to remind people all of the great things that your community right here has to offer. Sometimes we lose our local tourism to other cities and areas and we understand there's a lot going on in a lot of places. We also want all of our residents to be proud of what Kern County has to offer. So that's part of it. And the other part is about government education. Our government body is doing a lot of great work and we want to make sure we have a vehicle to bring that to you. So that's what we're doing. And in this week's Around the County, we have a lot of good things to talk about. To start, I'm actually standing at the future site of Kern County's Low Barrier Navigation Center. The Board of Supervisors approved the operational plan and we will soon see this location become a low barrier shelter for Kern County's homeless population. So we hope that you'll stay tuned for more information about that. All right, let's talk about our events. First up, we have on Saturday, November 2nd, the second annual Wings and Wheels Car Show in Shafter at Minter Field. And that's, again, that's Saturday, November 2nd from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. They're gonna have vendors, food, museum tours, uh, all the proceeds are going to pr go to preserving Minter Fields um, Air Museum. And if you want more information, you can visit their website for the Minter Airfield Museum. Next up is the sixth annual Ridgecrest Petroglyph Festival. This is a really fun event. Uh, if you have time, get online and go check it out. Again, it's the Ridgecrest Petroglyph Festival. There's only a very small window left to register for tours of the petroglyphs. You actually are escorted onto the naval base and they need your information first, so make sure you go and check that out first. Uh, but it is a free event. The tours have a cost associated with them, but the event itself is free. There's all sorts of vendors, food, music, fun things to do. Uh, so again, that's out in Ridgecrest. This weekend, Saturday, November 2nd and November 3rd, um, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you want to get more information, you can visit the Ridgecrest Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. Next up, we have the McFarland Menudo and Pozole Cook-Off, and that's on Sunday, November 3rd. It starts at 12 and goes until 3. It's at the Jim White Blanco Park, and they'll have judging and public tasting from 1 to 2, live entertainment, food vendors, and a beer garden. If you want more information, you can visit the City of McFarland's website. Our last event is hosted by the Kern County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and it is the Dia de los Muertos celebration that they are hosting at the Kern County Museum on Sunday, November 3rd. That starts at 1 and goes until 7 p.m. They'll have live music, food, crafts. It's $8 to get in. If you want more information, you can visit the Kern County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce website. A couple of quick reminders before we wrap up. This Friday, November 1st, the first installment of property taxes are due. So you have a couple of options. You can pay them online. You can send a check by mail, or you can come and visit us at the County Administrative Office at 1115 Truxton Avenue. Just don't forget, November 1st, the first installment is due. And really important, on Sunday, we fall back with daylight savings time ends. So set your clocks back an hour on Sunday. That's this week around the county, and we'll see you next week.